So Ed, the theme of Mix this year is fueling interactive advertising's creative revolution. What does creativity and interactive mean to you? Well, at ESPN, um, we're fortunate that uh, sports provides this wonderful canvas for us to be able to work with uh, advertisers and agencies, as well as our own creative people, to think about how you can truly get creativity into the advertising experience. So for us, to a large degree, it's very much so how we can have fans enjoy the game or the coverage of the game in ways that make them better fans. And I think as advertisers get involved with that, we find that it gives us a chance to add more value to the advertiser experience, the fan experience, and then to our business. In recent years, there's been a lot of talk about how the roles of marketers, agencies, and media companies has changed, and in many instances, even merged. How has this change impacted your job? Well, uh, it's a great question. There's no que there is, is no question that this is uh, something that's, that's uh, evolving as we speak. I think now um, we find that uh, we're looking for the great idea wherever it comes from. In some cases, it comes from what the marketer is trying to achieve uh, with their campaign. In some cases, it's out of a creative uh, part of an ad agency or the media agency. And in many cases, of course, it also comes from our programming, our production, and our content and editorial people at the various versions of ESPN. What we try to do is we try to figure out the right way to blend those ideas together. And where we think we have a unique um, advantage is that um, we are agnostic in how we approach the selling of the media. So it isn't television versus internet versus uh, mobile or audio or print. It really is what's the idea that starts best. A couple of examples of that. Um, we have a great uh, integrated uh, concept that we've done in tandem with marketers uh, at uh, Progressive Insurance. And Progressive Insurance was originally an audio radio advertiser, and we got them involved with an online uh, game that we call the ESPN Streak for the Cash, where people can try to pick 25 consecutive games in a row online. That idea really came out of something that our audio guys originally thought about. They brought it to our digital people. The digital people thought, wow, we can make that a bigger thing uh, online. And then can we bring television in and help television promote it and market it? That idea was brought to the marketer as an original concept. They felt very uh, involved, loved it, wanted to make it a bigger uh, thing. They got their agency connected to it uh, in terms of creating spots for it. But the original idea was a collaboration of, frankly, our radio people and our internet people with then bringing the client in. So it's a great example of, in my world, how do I bring each one of those constituencies together, not because we're trying to sell Progressive something, but because we have an idea that drives Progressive's business. By the way, there are now two and a half million people that play the ESPN Street for the, for the Cash presented by Progressive. That They have access to the database of those people. They're able to market to them. It's driven their sales, their awareness. We've been able to prove that. So. It's more than just that it's a good idea, it's an idea that's driving their business. Can you tell us what you think is most important about Mix and the IAB's role in the interactive industry? Well, clearly getting the industry together uh, in this fashion creates the opportunity for new business relationships, for companies to promote and market what makes them different, how do they stand out. I think at the same time there's a lot of thought leadership that goes on in this organization. And I think as, as the uh, business continues to get horizontal in the sense that uh, every screen has its place, uh, we're big believers in this notion of best available screen, and that is that sports fans will migrate to wherever the screen is rather than just what the platform is. It's very much so a lifestyle kind of a thing. You're going to spend time in front of your computer when you're in the office or on your mobile device when you're... Uh, out and about or you know if there's a program or show that you've got to watch on a big screen you're going to do that from a television point of view. This is a place that that kind of conversation happens and that senior people get together and talk about it. That's why we participate. That's why ESPN is a sponsor. That's why we try to participate in the speakers when uh, given the opportunity. So we think what IAB is doing and what Mix is doing is critical uh, to the future of the business. What do you think the single most compelling trend is in interactive media today? Well, I, I'm sure that you know most people see the you know consumer uh, as being in control, as as um, uh, you know programming for themselves, and I think that that's true. But I also think there's something else that's going on, and that is that 
while the consumer can program and control to a certain degree the environment that they have across every screen, there's only so much that any one, I think, individual can bring into their kind of uh, brand set. And what I mean by that is there's only so many television networks and shows that you have time and or desire to watch. There's only so many websites that you actually have the time, desire, and interest in, or magazines or radio programs or whatever it might be. So increasingly, that notion of what are those 20 or 25 brands that you absolutely have to have to enjoy your life, to uh, be informed, to be better at your job, to be better at your personal habits and hobbies or whatever, that's something that I think increasingly is going to get more apparent because there's so much choice. What does that ultimately mean? The notion of what an editor is, and the editor is a combination of the consumer and the people that provide the content together. I don't think it's one or the other. I think there is a multiple editor effect that's going to happen going forward, and it's going to be a combination of how technology allows you to do it, and then how many brands can you take in in a way that they, you have the time and the sophistication to really bring their information into how you think, the kinds of products you buy, et cetera. So what do you think the consumer wants? Uh, I think the consumer is after simplicity. They're after uh, time saving. Uh, I think they want uh, their lives to be made better and richer by the media that they, um, that they consume. But I also think that they want advertising to be better. And that's a big part of, I think, what we've all got to do in this business. The advertising has to be uh, more informative. It has to be more useful. It has to provide more value. Uh, it has to be more entertaining. There is no doubt about that. Um, and it has to respect the consumer. I think advertising that's respected works. I think advertising that uh, doesn't respect the consumer uh, has a chance and the opportunity to go the other way. ESPN has done an extraordinary job of adapting to change in the media world. What is the latest innovation that ESPN is working on that you could share with us? Well, um, I think you know, I think our ability to adapt is driven primarily by the fact that our company's mission is to serve sports fans wherever they are, however they want it, whenever they want it. So we're, we're an organization of people that are sports fans. They're trying to figure out how to serve other sports fans. So it's an interesting kind of dichotomy or a way to go about it. Um, most recently, we saw an opportunity to create a local digital versions of ESPN in major markets. We launched ESPN Chicago dot com uh, about six weeks ago it is now the number one local uh, website for sports in Chicago um, this past Monday in uh, well, as we uh, launched uh, Monday Night Football on ESPN uh, we launched ESPN Boston dot com uh, in two weeks uh, we'll launch ESPN um, Dallas uh, dot com in conjunction again with uh, uh, our big game down in Dallas uh, with Monday Night Football so I think the key there is, is that we have local content that we already create. We do a better job of organizing it. We bring some of the national perspective into it and allows us to play in a whole new market for us. And by the way, the interesting thing about that innovation was it all started because we have radio stations in those local markets. And those radio stations said there's an opportunity for us to create a digital version of ESPN uh, because the marketplace isn't as well served digitally as we think it could be. So um, the power of great ideas from all of our people uh, being able to create content that matters and then using the power of television to promote the fact that there is something called ESPN Boston or Chicago or Dallas and soon to come New York and Los Angeles and so on and so forth. So that's one we're all pretty excited about. That's great. Ed, thank you so much. Great to be with you.